With the Reserve Bank of Australia likely to cut interest rates further this year, there's been a lot of discussion around quantitative easing, or what's referred to as QE. But what exactly is it? QE is a tool central banks around the world have been using most recently since the global financial crisis to lower the cost of borrowing for anyone from a government to households. In theory, what this does is stimulate economic activity. They are essentially creating money or putting more money into circulation. It's usually used when interest rates are so low that they're not getting any traction anymore and there aren't as many options available when it comes to stimulating the economy. But central banks are not literally printing the cash as you might imagine. Here's how they do it. Say the government needs money to build a new infrastructure project they promised in the budget, like a freeway or a rail line. Well, what they do is issue a bond, like an IOU, to get those funds. What the central bank then does is it buys this bond, giving the money to the government, money that otherwise would not have been in the system. So, in a sense, it's being artificially created. This can be done on a large scale with the central bank buying a range of instruments like corporate bonds, mortgages and other assets to inject this money into the economy. An example of quantitative easing, which many of you may remember, is from the global financial crisis. The US Federal Reserve, their version of the RBA, started a QE program in 2008, increasing the money supply by four and a half trillion dollars over a six year period. It was also used by central banks in Europe and the United Kingdom after the crisis to help prop up those economies. By putting more money out there, it means banks have more cash available to lend to consumers and businesses have more funds to grow their companies. And governments can start big projects by hiring more workers. While interest rates are low here in Australia, it's unlikely the RBA will have to implement QE. It's an idea that would be more likely held in reserve for an actual crisis in the Australian economy or a substantial global economic slowdown, like the one that we saw during the global financial crisis. Thank you.